Okay, what's up? How you doing? Um, so I had a really good question from someone I uh, put into virtual production. Uh, so I've been sharing notes with them about what I've been doing with my end display slash uh, off world live uh, NDI or spout output kind of stuff. This awesome question was, can you get a NDI or spout output running while launching from switchboard? And this is a really useful question because you might have things where you want to send your uh, Frostum out to clients who are working on another machine or collaborators, um, this kind of thing. So I'm just going to chuck in um, this pretty, pretty cool kind of little anamorphic screen setup. I'll just show you this one as an example. So um, what I can do is just, so if we want to get this inner Frostum streamed out, uh, I've covered this in a previous video, but I'll just replicate this again really quickly because it's really cool to show that this actually works uh, during end display kind of uh, remote sessions through switchboard as well. Um, so yeah, I'll just demonstrate this quickly. If I grab my, if I grab my ICV FX camera here, um, select the Alcine cam. Uh, I can set this render target in here. I'm going to uh, set this uh, owl output as the render target. And then in a sender manager, I can also set this out output. So you can just grab a sender manager in here by going off of live, uh, drag in a sender manager into the level. Uh, you can set this name and the standalone name. Uh, that's something we will need later. And you can set this render target, just make it active. And this will now be outputting via spout in my case, but you could just do the exact same thing for NDI, as you can see here. So yeah, to get this running on switchboard, um, you just need to uh, enable the enable the switchboard plugin there. Probably prompt me to restart after that, and you should get this little guy out here. Uh, you can get this. This launch sw switchboard listener is for any computer that you're just receiving from. So for me, I'm actually sending and receiving from the same computer. So I'm gonna I'm gonna launch the listener. Uh, and then you can launch switchboard as well. So you get something like this. I'll just remove everything for now, just to, to redo it with you. Pretty simple. If you go here, you can just make sure this is your IP address. I'm going to copy this for in a second, but you can just find that where by typing in CMD and then going IP config uh, and just grab that one. So yeah, as long as that's pasted in there, and as long as you've got the right Unreal project selected here, uh, it will know what, what you're looking to launch. You should see the levels that you have in your intended uh, UE project here. That would be a good sign. So now I can, I can launch an instance of Unreal, and you can put the address in. I'll just call it end display test. Um, and this is the connection button to establish the connection. You can then hit launch to launch a, uh, a, a host connection here. Uh, I'm not going to do that just now. I'm just going to use a end display config. And this is going to be my asset. You can select the one you're, if you can't find the one you're looking for, you could try hitting populate and it might have some assets that are unpassed so far. So, uh, it should, should show up on that list now. You can hit OK, and it's given me each node that I've set in the end display config. Here, I've got, I've got node 0, node 1. So it's, it's given me the option to send or receive each of those nodes, which is nice. But I just want to send out... I just want to demonstrate that we can send out the Frostum, really. So I want to launch, I want to launch this node on its own. But again, as long as you've got this Cinecam set as the ICVFX, you should get that Frost in there that's going where the Cinecam's going. So that's great. Um, I've got some animation set on this, which you can just set on begin playing the level blueprint just to give me a, uh, an indicator of if the Jeep is spinning, I know the 
I know the render target is updating as intended. You can get an idea of the frames per second on that as well. So we've got our ICVFX camera set here. We've got our capture texture target going out here. And we should have a sender sending out that texture target. For me, currently I'm just using Spout for this to pick this up in OBS. I'm doing it all on one machine, but you could use NDI to send this out to another machine quite happily. So with that all set, I'm pretty sure this is going to work. So I'm going to close this off just to save some resources. And I'm going to launch this and display config on its own as a standalone, uh, standalone Unreal instance, I guess. And what it does, it just launches up on begin play. So whatever you tell it to do on begin play, whatever you've got in your construction scripts, uh, it will launch that. So I'm just going to use a task manager, control up, delete, jump out. And I'll just show you that we're getting that display. It's running. It's running quite nicely. And uh, in OBS, but this could be any program where you want to pick up some spout or NDI. I'm going to set my spout capture and use wall right render target standalone. So because I don't have Unreal open, the wall right render target on its own didn't show up, but the standalone has showed up. And this, if I make it smaller here, you can see it's quite nicely replicating what's in this end display config and it's adding it to a whole new program, in my case, OBS. But the possibilities of where you want to send that frost are up to you.